what's up YouTube hey guys man I, it feels like it's been forever since we actually uh, got a video out to you guys and it's only been about a week because we took a little time off to actually observe the holiday with our families and pay respect to the servicemen and women who's made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom guys I want to tell you something I am at probably one of the most iconic locations in Memphis next to the historic Elmwood Cemetery. I'm actually at the original burial spot for the King of Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley, believe it or not. Yeah, we are here at the Forest Hill Cemetery. And this place is just, it's huge, it's massive, guys. And it's actually the only location in Memphis where there's an honest to God crypt. You're absolutely gonna love this. But you got to be sure and smash that like button. Be sure to leave us a comment if you want to watch us come out here during the night. We actually have permission to be here. Uh, the, uh, they're going to let us film if we want to at night. So you guys, if you want to see it, you got to be sure and let us know that you do want to see it. And we will come out here. But anyway, I want you guys to see exactly what I'm looking at. This place is massive. It's huge. It's creepy, especially at nighttime. I've already been here. Um, it's awesome. Um, let's go in and let's go look around. Let's see what we've got. All right, guys, so we are actually over at the mausoleum, as you can see. And originally, in 1977, Elvis Presley was actually buried right inside here over on this side. Um, he was buried there, and as the newspaper says, or as the news always said, is basically that he was buried here while his grave was being prepared at Graceland, and that's not the case. Um, actually, he was buried here after a fold attempt on some grave robbers that actually planned on stealing his body, believe it or not. And that, that is factual. The documentation, I'll put a link down below for it. You can find it and research it yourself, but it's pretty cool. This place is absolutely awesome. All right, guys. So I didn't really plan on doing like a big investigation out here during the daytime I just want to kind of show you guys around a little bit kind of entice you if you wanted to see more of this place you got a comment let us know you want to see us come out here and investigate it especially the crypt that place is like totally creepy it's awesome in a good way all right guys stay tuned let's go inside and check it out All right guys, so we're actually in here and we're fixing to check this place out. It is absolutely awesome. Sorry for the echo, but as you can see, we're in the chapel right now. You can see it's not really well taken care of. You can see actually a little bit of mold. Although it don't smell too bad. You don't hear the ventilation fans running, even though they are, they were in here. They're actually not on or running. I'm not really sure if it even has power in here, but you can see they actually got some deodorizer in here. This place is pretty cool. You can see the wet floor sign. So they've actually been in here. This place is cool. 
So the oldest grave marker I found out here so far has been like 1888. Okay, this one's open. Let's walk in here. There's another one. The oldest one we found so far is 1888, but the cemetery's been here since 1885. The smell's not too bad in here, and I kind of figured it would be worse because there's no, no ventilation or anything. So here's where they raise and lower the caskets to put them in the in the top vaults. Wow. Wow. We're getting ready to actually plate that one. These two have been recently removed. Oh. So I came down here and looked at, checked this place out, which I actually, I've actually got family buried here, but came and checked this place out last weekend. And I mean, totally, totally creeped out when I was here. Uh, I was on this side of the building and on the opposite side down there, I actually heard the, one of the gates closed to one of the rooms. Nobody else is in here. It's actually a pretty small mausoleum, but as you as you can see, it's full, practically completely full. There was a horrible, horrible smell on the other end last weekend when we came down here and I believe that it was coming from one chamber like this one and I'll show you hopefully it's not too bad I can't smell it yet and it looks like somebody's been in here since last week so maybe they addressed it it's beautiful I love the architecture and the it's absolutely beautiful. But this place, I can promise you, takes on a whole nother ambience at dark. Just came from that way. So, I really want, it looks like some of the tiles falling down on the ceiling there. So no ventilation, the air is just kind of stagnant in here, but it's kind of hot, humid. But overall it smells pretty good. It smells like a funeral parlor and flowers. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this right here was actually where the putrid smell was coming from. And actually, happy birthday, Dad. Actually smells pretty decent down here. I guess they cleaned it up. So yeah, this is open. So actually this is like the sound that we actually heard when we were in here. And I mean these gates are actually really heavy. Actually takes them very creepy. But in a the same sense 
very quiet and beautiful resting place. And I wonder what that marker came up of. I'm gonna say that I don't see one that's actually looks like it would be missing from. So in this this one hasn't been used yet, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay guys, let's go. Let's move. Let's leave let's keep moving forward. Let's go over here because I got a treat for you. This is gonna be cool. So I mean, it feels pretty normal in here right now. It's not real creepy, but, I mean, it's really cool. It's a pretty cool place. If you're ever in Memphis, you need to come check it out. So here you go, guys. I don't want to wait. There we go. So right here is actually the original resting place for Elvis. As you can see, all the tributes there for him. And let's go back here and let's see. Let's see. We love you, Elvis. You will forever be missed. Carla, Tiffany, Alyssa, Scotty, Andrew, Auburn, Louisville, Kentucky, 310 19. So, this place is just really, really cool, you know. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people didn't know that Elvis was originally placed in a mausoleum. You see, it was this one right over there. It would have been that spot right over there. That last spot would have been where he was, he was placed. So... Guys, I actually brought a digital voice recorder in with me. I brought the K2 and I brought the brought the ghost box. And we can check it out here in a second and see if we can catch anything. I just wanted to kind of walk through here and make sure nobody was in here, you know, you know, visiting family or friends. So let's, uh, let's see what we can get. All right, guys, I'm back. Good deal. All right, so anyway, I brought, I brought the digital recorder with me. And as you can see right here, I brought the K2 in with me. I also have the ghost box right here. We're going to set this up in a minute. But at first, we're going to run a EVP burst session. I keep hearing a noise back behind me, that's why I keep looking over. Um, we're gonna run a EVP burst session, see if we can connect with anything, get them to come up and speak to us with the recorder, and then we'll go in and run the SB7 and see if we can catch anything, just right off the bat. I really wasn't gonna come and set up, but right as I went to go cut the camera to set all this up, I actually heard a noise right behind me there. It actually sounded like somebody was walking. Um, okay. All right, rolling on the digital recorder. Is there anybody in here that would like to come up and talk with us? If so, can anybody tell me, can you tell me your name? If you speak loud and clear in this device, I'm holding my hand, I'll be able to hear you. Can you tell me where you are? Do you know what year it is? Did you live in Memphis your whole life? Can you tell me what year you died?
Were you buried here in the mausoleum? Can you give me a sign? Can you make a noise to let us know that you're in here? Also, if you come up here by me, this little box standing up right here will light up. All you gotta do is touch it. I'm gonna stand up and move down just a little bit. Okay. All right, I moved away from that box. You don't have to be afraid of it, it won't hurt you. It just lets me know that you're here. If you come up beside it, sit down beside it in a pew. I'm just trying to document that you're still here. Don't be afraid. My name is Eric. Hello? Is anybody in here? There's only one way in, and that's through the chapel. And I know nobody's been here. I'm sitting right across from it. But I keep hearing in that far left corner from me what sounds like whispers. Can you come up and talk to me? Or come up and sit down in the pew? If you sit down in the pew, I'll be able to see that you're here. Don't be afraid. I'm just here to document that you're here. Was El were you already here when they placed Elvis here? What about Elvis? Is Elvis here? Elvis, if you're here, are you happy to see what they did with Graceland? You know, your music still lives on, day in and day out. And you thought you were big in the 60s and 70s and you only got bigger. Okay guys, so we're gonna run the ghost box. I'm going to play this back live for you guys so that you'll actually hear it as we're going. So you'll hear me asking questions, and then if we catch anything, you'll hear the responses on the digital recorder. Let's run the ghost box and see what we can get out of it. All right, guys, I'm going to sit close now so you can actually hear it. It is so hot in here. The batteries are dead that quick. I just put these in like 20 minutes ago. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to change these batteries. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, what's up, guys? I'm back. I'm back. I finally got some batteries, and we're going to turn this ghost box on. Let's go. We're going to run it, see what we can come up with. All right. Here we go. We're going to sweep it in reverse. The sweep braid is going to be, let's do 150. Hold on.
Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello, is anybody in here? I have no idea what that was. Guys, I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded like one of these gates or kind of like something just shut. Oh, that window was not open. Oh. There's nobody, there's absolutely nobody here. Nobody's even in the cemetery at all. Uh, just walked out to the truck and got batteries. Nobody's out here. Uh, that window, I didn't notice it open a while ago. When I walked through here, uh, I don't see, I don't see anybody. Nobody's came in because the bench is actually right there. Here's the, here's the entryway. Nobody's in here at all. Hello? Is anybody here that'd like to speak to me? I got chills. You know, the hairs in my arms just stand on me, and I don't know. I seriously don't know what that was. I mean, I am, I will give you that. I, it, this is a rough area of Memphis, but I mean, literally, I didn't see anybody outside. Not even, hello? Anybody here? Hello, hello? Is anybody here that would like to speak with me? Are there any spirits that are here that would like to communicate? Oh, hello? Hello? What's your name? Dude, I don't know what that was. And I'm starting to hear a few things. I don't know, I think that may be the bird. Sounds like some birds out there fighting. That's what it is <laughs> with some birds. Oh my God. Sound like squeaky shoes almost. Okay, so let's turn the ghost box on. Let's run it just a few more minutes. And then I'm gonna get on out of here, but you guys got to be sure. Smash that like button. You wanna see us come back out here. That's the only way we're gonna go to the crib. Uh, we'll go down in there in the dark in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. And we'll investigate it. We'll see what we can make contact with. That place is creepy. The only crypt in Memphis. All right, let's run this a couple more minutes and then we'll cut it loose. And I'm gonna start closing out. Hello? Is anybody here that would like to speak with me?
you bury it here. Anybody here that would like to communicate, now's your chance. My name is Eric. Don't be afraid to come up and talk to me. If you speak loud and clear, I can hear you through this device. Can you tell me your name? Make a noise. I guess y'all heard that. Can you make a noise? Make a noise for me so we know that you're here. Can you tell me your name? Can you give me your name? I want to say that was a Scott. I can't quite tell. How many spirits are here with me? So I'm just kind of walk. I'm just kind of walking around looking. I found a Scott right there, Charlie Scott Henny. Scott, is that your name, Scott Henny? Can you tell me your last name? sure and watch this video throughout let me know in the comments if you see anything or you hear anything or if you can make out anything that we may have missed in editing you know we we may have missed something you know while editing that that we didn't pick up on you guys may have seen so if you do just be sure and let us know because we'll uh, we go back and we'll feature it on one of the next videos so is anybody down here that would like to speak with me before we go? We're fixing to wrap up and head home for the evening. Can you tell us how many how many people are here? I wasn't sure if that said two or ten. How many spirits are here with me? Is Elvis here? I've only been in here recording like 20 minutes maybe. And my battery is drained. I, 20 minutes of filming, and this battery should last about three hours. 
Is anybody here that would like to speak with us before we leave? We're fixing to get out of here. We want to come back and speak with you again if that's okay. Is that okay with you? I'm not sure if that was a yes or a no, but it was something. Okay, I'm turning the device off now, okay? Can you do me a favor before I turn it off? Can you come up to this pew right here and have a seat and make that light light up for me? Can you do that for me? I'll step away from it. Let's flip this over so we can hear. Can you come up and sit down next to it or touch that little black box? All right, well, we're going to turn the device off. Oh, I'm not really sure what that was, but that sounded like somebody was yelling through the device. That is actually somebody's, somebody's burial plot right here in the in the split in the middle of the road. Actually buried there in 1900. Pretty cool. Well, like I said, I don't know if we contacted Elvis or not. I did. I heard a couple of voices on the ghost box. Um, I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna go through and listen to the audio, slow it down a little bit, listen to some of the EVPs see if we captured anything uh, special shout out to shock for making this content come to life man you are the you are awesome until next time guys peace we'll see you soon